going on everyone today I'm going to show you how you can remotely connect to a MySQL database via SSH and today we're going to be doing that on a Mac and some of the pros of this is you don't have to expose the database port directly to the internet you can keep the database listening on local hosts on your server and just use SSH to be able to access that local host and this makes managing a remote database way easier so I'm going to show you a really nice MySQL client for Mac um, that you can use to do this instead of having to manually SSH and then log in on MySQL through the command line so we're going to go ahead and get this software first called MySQL Pro so it's this first link sqlpro.com and I'll throw this link in the description as well so you could go ahead and download this here and then once you download it, download it go ahead and open it up and this is our connections interface and the standard one is for a database you're working with on your local machine but since we're connecting to the re a remote one we're gonna click on the SSH tab so here we're gonna put our MySQL host address which should be localhost because that's what it should be listening on on the remote server because we don't have to expose it when we go through SSH and then let's go ahead and type in your MySQL credentials and we'll keep the database and port default now we gotta type in our SSH information so this is assuming that you have a remote server you have MySQL running on that remote server listening on localhost and you have SSH access to the server already so we'll type in the host here either the IP address or the domain name and we're going to type in a user I'm just doing root for this example but you should have a non-privileged user to log into and then here you can type in your SSH password or if you're using a key to connect you could go ahead and click the icon on the right and then go ahead and select your key open it up and then that's it and you could connect and this will make the SSH connection and once that SSH connection is established then it'll connect through that SSH tunnel to the local host database so now we're connecting we can go ahead and this just makes it super easy to manage a remote database or just you know add stuff play around look at values especially in testing and stuff so um, this is a nice way to um, just do this and it keeps it a little more secure because you're not exposing as many things to the internet you're just using that already existing SSH connection and you can make that even more secure by whitelisting IPs addresses which I'll be doing in my next video for DigitalOcean so yeah that's pretty much it and another thing you could do with SQL Pro is um, if you once you're logged in this database you could say file add to favorites and then once you quit out of here next time you load it up it'll be in your favorites tab right here so you won't have to type in all this information again you can just hit connect right away so I hope this helps out if there's anything more specific you would like to know about this process or setting things up just um, shoot make a comment and I'll respond or I can make more videos so but yeah I think appreciate watching and have a good day